Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Bremeyer from Kingsbury Animal Hospital. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about noise phobias, which includes things like thunderstorms, fireworks, the beeper when your smoke alarm goes off, uh, house alarms. Dogs can have noise phobias to lots of things. Thunderstorms and fireworks are the things that we get calls about most often. And those are anxiety-based fears. They're not rational. Uh, we don't exactly know why some dogs have more trouble with those things than others. But some dogs can have such severe panic attacks that they'll try to eat their way out of the house or jump through windows or just have very severe destructive behaviors in the house, you know, if they're afraid of those things. Thunderstorms, it's the sound, it's the lightning, it's the change in barometric pressure, it may have something to do with ions in the air that they sense are different. Helping your dog through those things can involve providing a dark space for them, someplace where they don't see the lightning, someplace where they don't hear the thunder as much, put on ambient noise in the house, loud music, sit with them, and just be with them. There's also a product on the market now called a Thunder Shirt, which is a compressive body wrap, which can help for some dogs, but it doesn't help for all of them. There are anti-anxiety medications that can be used. Uh, Xanax is one of them but you don't want to do that without speaking to your veterinarian if you happen to have Xanax in the house. The regular tranquilizer that for years and years we have prescribed for anxieties like thunderstorm anxiety is not a true anti-anxiety medication, it's a tranquilizer and it can actually make the situation worse for your dog. Fireworks are about the same you know, that um, some of those same treatments, thunder shirt, anti-anxiety medications, things like that can help with fireworks. With either of those situations, you'd want to try to intervene before your dog has become anxious, if you can you know, in any way do that. And sometimes a combination of things like Xanax and a thunder shirt, you know, can work. There's also behavior mod that can work, and trying to work with thunderstorm recordings and desensitizing your dog to the thunderstorms, that's a lengthy process, uh, but it can have some benefit. I would also caution you to, if you have a young dog and it's just starting to have sort of a little bit of anxiety, it doesn't seem too bad to you, you want to intervene early, because as the years go by and the thunderstorm seasons and the fireworks seasons go by, things can get worse. That's all for now.